Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 22nd, 2020. So today we have perception, yes. If you want to talk about real awakening, guys, it's not about pretentious spirituality, okay? You know I talk about that all the time and there it is again. It is about opening your eyes. We were talking about this yesterday. All you need to do is go on social media and you'll see how people are stuck in their perceptions. This can also pertain to people who keep saying, oh, I can't wait for things to go back to normal. It's not going back to normal. Don't say that, Michelle. That makes me so depressed. Open your eyes. It's a good thing, okay? It's a good thing if you allow it. Now, I don't think, as far as perception goes, I don't think a perception is going to, I mean, in a grand sense, going to change overnight. Certainly not. <laughs> but, uh, you know, once we hit 2021, we're going to, I think, slowly see people opening their eyes. And they'll go, oh my gosh, I really am doing this, this, and this. Oh my gosh, history wasn't exactly as I remembered it. Oh my gosh, maybe I do have accountability in this. So, you know, we've been talking quite a bit about the narcissistic tendencies of our world and or self-centeredness, however you want to put that. Because narcissism is a spectrum there. But, um, you know, we talk about that quite a bit. I think once we allow the perceptions to come about, to see the things that we don't want to see, if we allow that to occur, we will start coming into a world that does not feed the self-centered nature of people. Well, M Michelle, it's all about, you know, self-preservation. I got that. I got that. But... We have to stop. We can't step on each other's backs here. Can't do that. So when we're talking perception, hopefully today is a chance at letting some realizations land. Realizing we need to get into a world that doesn't support people who want to brainwash, who want to feed off of our energy. Um, we're not going to feed the darkness anymore. And you're still feeding the darkness when you proclaim that you are nothing but light, but you do it in a self-righteous way. Careful. That goes across the board with anything. You do anything with a sense of self-righteousness, I'm perfect and everybody else needs to be like me, or if you twist an argument <laughs> to try to diminish someone else who, you know, they're trying to do their best, you know, in this world. Um, we all know that the reason why people do that is to make people feel bad so that they feel charged. It's not just on an individual level either. This goes pretty wide. <laughs> this goes pretty wide beyond the veil, beyond things that we can see. And some of you might look at this and go, oh my God, Michelle, you're going so deep. This is so stupid. This is just, I need to understand more about how great I am. <laughs> you guys, if you think I'm crazy, people do this. And this is where we're at. So it's going to be messy. There's no clean cut message for today. It's all about breaking open and facing the flood, facing what comes crashing through the door. But just know if you are pure in your heart and you really are the embodiment of light and you're perfectly balanced, which nobody is right now, but... <laughs> If you have an intention to get there, uh, you'll be able to handle it. And then there will be cleanup. And then we'll start a whole beautiful new way where we don't feed into things that are trying to tear us down. And I don't mean don't engage. Standing your ground is part of the process. Knowing when to walk away is part of the new perspective and the new perception. All right, so we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.